Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, he was one of the UKIP's highest profile ethnic minority candidates and their former Commonwealth spokesman. But now Winston Mackenzie has quit the party, claiming he's been racially discriminated against. Here's Nigel Farage lauding Mr Mackenzie and others last year as proof of the party's appeal among ethnic minority voters. And let this picture, let this picture of me on the stage with these wonderful men and women from all their different backgrounds and their united belief in being British and being part of this country and in wanting this country to be free and independent and self-governing and proud. Let this be UKIP's clause for moment. Yeah. I don't get what you call us, but from this moment on, please do not ever call us a racist party. We are not a racist party. And Winston McKenzie joins us now. Welcome to the program. Andrew, how are you doing? That was nice to see you. I don't Great often get a handshake, you, so that's very nice. This week, um, you said that, let me quote, you were racially discriminated against by people in the higher echelons of UKIP. Without naming names, because our lawyers are watching, what, what evidence could you bring to bear on that? Well, I was receiving letters, phone calls, and the work I'd done for the party with regards to the infrastructure of UKIP in London was profound. I created um, a training course that was so successful, met certain members of the, in the higher echelons became very jealous and angry with me. Now, of the, the training class that I created, I trained personally, Andrew, okay. 30 people. OK, that, let, let's accept that you've done, for the sake of this, mm. you've done a great job for the party. What I asked was, what is the evidence that you were that you suffered from racial discrimination initially when i came into the party the ukip website um with people issuing their comments about me the raci racist comments were so bad that they had to pull the site down but do we know these I, were ukip members i mean all sorts of websites of all sorts of I trolling bought, I, nonsense. I, the situation got so bad i i brought it to the party chief executive i told nigel farage i spoke to him i said to him i'm having problems some there are people in the party who are racist right and when i say racist andrew i'm not referring to the ukip members these people are the salt of the earth and i'm not referring to people who are directly involved with Nigel or the leader himself. I'm referring to the four or five people within the party who are blatantly racist. So uh, is your complaint not that UKIP is, to quote a famous phrase, institutionally racist, but it has some members within it who are some racist? Some members within it that are racist and that I, as a man with my integrity and portraying to be a black man trying to make better mm. in, 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 in society will not stand for it in this day and age. What do you say to some people uh, who claim this is just sour grapes on your part? You were dropped from the front bench earlier this year. You didn't become the London mayoral candidate. You didn't become one of the 11 London Assembly candidates that maybe you, you've just concluded that your career in UKIP is going nowhere. Andrew, they'd love for that to be the case. Every politician within UKIP or any other political party would love to be included in the list or, or become the mayoral candidate. But the simple fact is, I pride myself as a politician in democracy. UKIP, the UK Independence Party, prides itself in democracy. At the selection process for the mayoral candidates and London Assembly, the members, the UKIP membership, were not included, Andrew. And it's this lapsidaisical form of organization that really miffed me at the end of the day. Is it true that you've been a member of every major political party? But I never joined Labour. Except Labour. You've been a member of the Conservatives? Conservatives, Liberal Democrats. Not Labour, Liberal Democrats? Yeah. Veritas? Veritas, very I've briefly. About Kilroy, them. Kilroy, yeah. Unity? Yeah. Unity was my party. Okay, and UKIP. Yeah. yeah, you only have to look at the greats, and I'm a great. 
But you didn't. At, but you only have to look at Churchill. How many po times did Churchill move, move his position? Yeah, but he won elections. You've well, never won I, one. I'm a new you? boy. I'm a new boy. Well, I'm not a that, new boy. You're not that new. You've been look, I just days. want to shadow box with you today. I don't want to spar with you today. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, no, Let's you're an ex boxer. I don't want you to. Well, to, I see. To you're a heavyweight. Man. I mean, you even auditioned for the X Factor, didn't you? Yeah, mate. Yes. You've got to. Listen, that's what's wrong with politics today. Politicians need to put themselves about, get involved in ordinary people's lives and see what's going on outside there. I get around. So I mean, I know what's going on. They didn't choose you, but I was looking at the, the UKIP candidates for the London Assembly, so the London Parliament yeah, for, the, right. for the capital, uh, and they chose them a, a couple of weeks ago. A third of them are from ethnic minorities. Thanks to Winston McKenzie. But not you. Thanks to Winston McKenzie. The people so is you... racism really? I mean, a racist party would the not, only, I would the, suggest, choose a third of its candidates from ethnic minorities. Speak to Andrew, speak to any member, speak to any a activist and ask them who is responsible for the influx of black and ethnic candidates into the UK Independence Party and so, they'll tell you Winston. So you're an example. You, some can of, you can never be a prophet in your own land. I am a prophet everywhere I go, man. You led the way uh, that they wouldn't choose you. I didn't need them to choose me because the work I've done there will go on as a legacy. And people will. will I, I wonder whether people to come into. I the wonder party. whether maybe UKIP just took the view that, you, as a politician, you could be a bit of a liability. I mean, after all, you once described Croydon as a dump, which is a point of view, <laughs> but probably not a point of view you should have if, as you were, the local election candidate there. Andrew, you've got to speak the truth. Tell it as you see it. The is place, that why, but that's why you lost. The place is a dump. <laughs> now, it's a complete... And you the said whole it was a London, dump unsafe. The whole of London, and, Andrew, is becoming a dump. Just go outside really? Paul Cullis' house. See the chewing gum on the floor. I'm sorry I didn't include the rest of London. It's a complete well, dump. Well, that's obviously why they didn't then Wait, choose you for the London Andrew, Assembly. answer me one having, question. Having yeah, listen, turn this around a bit. When you were growing up, did you see black bags and rubbish dumped everywhere? Down in Bromley, we Of course saw, I did. I was brought up in Paisley. I never saw that when I came to this country, man. I came here when I was five years old and the streets were clean. It's a dump. And it's time we've done something about it. Sounds like the people aren't quite ready for your message. I mean, well, what, can I just say to you, most people think that London is kind of had a renaissance beyond belief that it's... Up, I mean, when I first came to London after university, it was a pretty miserable, declining British city. It is now one of the, if not the, global cities in the world. It's a shame Boris Johnson got voted out with regards to the water cannons, you know, because if I was mayor of London tomorrow, I'd have the streets washed with water cannons. Oh. You know, the whole town, Andrew, needs an enema. <laughs> Very well. There is no doubt about that. But, I mean, you, you've been complaining about some racism in UKIP, though I, I, I understand that you're not saying the party institutionally is, a, is racist. And it's you, not aimed at its leader. No, no, I understand that apples. too. But you've had a few uh, what might be called politically incorrect uh, positions. You said that a gay couple adopting a child was, quote, abuse. I'm entitled to my personal Christian opinions. Not very and, uh, you know, diverse or inclusive, if, though, is If it? you claim that you purport to represent the people, there are certain amounts of people in diff various different areas that need to be heard, you, and you carry their voice. You said that you were dismayed that the former boxing promoter, Frank Maloney, he's now called Kelly Maloney, had a sex change. Oh, that, yeah, well, it, I knew the guy well, and um, I wish Do you him know more, the woman uh, well, uh, No, I wish him, all, I wish him, who's now the woman, all the very best. Okay, so you don't uh, you're not dismayed anymore. I'm not dismayed. By by him. In. I'm sad um, at the loss of Frank Frank Maloney. He's a great. He was a great guy. Has Winston McKenzie him. been badly done by, or are you I, kept? I don't um, know. I, I have to say, with all due respect, it seems to me like there's a bit of a bruised ego. The reality is, any person who's got a justifiable bruised ego over the uh, mayoral uh, candidacy for UKIP is Suzanne Evans, who should have been a shoe in if she hadn't been at loggerheads with Nigel Farage after her brief couple well, of days as party at that. leader. I, I was surprised. She's got name recognition, she's a fantastic media performer, and she would have been the ideal candidate to come fifth in the London mayoral elections, which is what's going to happen. I was surprised. Has, has he been seriously traduced, Mr. McKenzie? Well, I, I just think it's a shame. I would have loved to have seen a London mayoral candidate with the slogan, London's a dump. Uh, you know, <laughs> that, that would have been great Thanks. to, to Thanks. watch for a few I weeks. like that. <laughs> you know, and, um, you know, if we're to talk the truth, if we speak the truth, 
you, you go around, you look around London, and, and you know, many of us don't walk with our heads down, we look up in the sky and we go about our business. But London, specifically, is becoming the most atrocious place with regards to hygiene. Hygiene. It's hygiene. But it's the also streets. become a great place. It is very welcoming to people of many different backgrounds and also people of very uh, different uh, different sexual orientation and a large population. It's of a people. liberal city it's, with it's, a small it's, L. It's, are, are, are gay people. And, and, and I'm personally not gay, but I'm incredibly okay. offended by someone who uses God as a get out clause for homophobia. Tell me. Well, I, I, I don't. Tell, tell me this. What party are you going to join now? My Greens, in, the Greens. My intention is to hang loose support UK policies, and stand as an independent mayoral candidate. So if you're any sponsors out there and want to back me, come on board, Winston's okay. Crusade at hotmail.com. All right. OK, now, uh, just before you go, Winston, and Andrew, you could no, no, I've got I to need, do that. We're running out of time. I need a mug. We asked. Andrew, you need a I've mug. come here for a mug. If you stop man. talking, I'll give you a mug. <laughs> Thank Good you. Man. We asked UKIP for an interview to respond to Winston's claims, but they declined the invitation. But the party did send a statement. It says, we are sorry to say goodbye to Winston after six events for years, saddened by the manner of his leaving. We enjoyed working with him. We will miss him and we wish him well. There we go.